Hey guys, this is Raven from DJ Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 190. iPhone 13 series pre-order begins in India through Flipkart, Amazon and Apple websites. iPhone 13 mini price in India starts at rupees 69900 while the iPhone 13 begins from rupees 79900. While the iPhone 13 Pro starts at rupees 119900 and the iPhone 13 Pro Max begins at rupees 129900 for the base model. Realme Narzo 50 series launch date in India is set for September 24th. Realme is expected to launch the Narzo 50 and Narzo 50i at this event. Narzo 50i will ship with a MediaTek Helio G85 processor, 50 megapixel triple cameras and a 6000 mAh battery. On Realme event on September 24th, Realme is going to launch Realme Narzo 50 series, Realme Band 2, Realme 4K Smart Google TV Stick and a Realme Smart TV Neo is set to debut in India. Flipkart's Big Billion Day is coming soon. On this day, eight new most awaited launches will be happening of this year and will be going on sale for the first time ever on the Big Billion Days. Samsung Galaxy M52 5G will launch in India in the last week of September. More render sleek shows of phone will be available in white, black and blue color options. And Samsung Galaxy M52 5G specifications include a Snapdragon 770G processor, 64 megapixel triple cameras, 15 watt charging speed and an Android 11 OS. There is a new buzz doing the rounds among the Gen Z these days. V8 IQ have a name for it which is called as IQ Z5. These are the first and the only brand under Realme Tech Life is all set to launch at another true wireless earphones in India. This true wireless earbuds called Lizo Buds Z has been already listed on the brand's official website as well as Flipkart with every detail about them except the price. Microsoft Office next generation version is launching for a commercial customers today. The Redmond based company has also promised an October 5th release date for the consumer release of Office 2021. It is an enterprise focused version of Office 2021 that is offered to volume licensed commercial and government clients. Infinix Sort 11s and Infinix Sort 11 phones have been launched in India. These phones will go on sale on Flipkart from September 21st. Infinix Sort 11s specifications include a full HD plus 90 Hz display, 50 megapixel triple camera and 18 watt fast charging support. The Infinix Sort 11 price in India is set for rupees 8999 for the model with a 4 GB RAM and a 64 GB internal storage. Infinix Sort 11s is priced at rupees 10999 for the model with a 4 GB RAM and a 64 GB internal storage according to the leaks the pubg new state is expected to be unveiled on october 8th the realme gt neo 2 is launching in china on september 22nd it will launch with a base variant of 6 gb ram and a 128 gb storage options which is priced at 2499 chinese yuan this device will also launch in 8 gb ram and a 128 gb storage and 12 gb ram and a 256 gb storage options those were priced at 2699 chinese yuan and a 12 gb ram and a 256 gb storage variant is priced around 2999 chinese yuan that is roughly around 34200 Indian rupees. The OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro phones are now getting a latest Oxygen OS update, which brings a bunch of tweaks and improvements as well as a cool Hasselblad expand mode to your phones. Earlier today, Xiaomi published a new patent for the interesting form of technology. This patent was titled as Method and Equipment for Realizing Seismic Monitoring of Mobile Devices. The Chinese tech giant application has a patent number and describes a method or system that is capable of reading monitoring seismic activities from a mobile equipment. In other words, this technology could be used in detecting earthquakes. Xiaomi grabs the largest share as Indian smart TVs market grew by 65 percentage of year on year in quarter to 2021. Samsung made a push for more market share with a release of multiple models spread across different price segments. Oppo might be working on a new Reno series of smartphone that features a unique camera system. The company has recently filed a patent for an handset that supports a multi-directional camera module. Oppo F19s was tipped to launch in India ahead of the upcoming festive season in the country. A few weeks later, specifications, price and low quality renders of the smartphones has now emerged on the internet. The Oppo F19s in a single 6GB RAM and a 128GB storage configuration could debut at around 19,000 to 20,000 Indian rupees. This means that it will cost as much as Oppo F19, which currently retails at 18,990 for the same money variant. 
Motorola tablet will run stock Android out of the box. This tablet is reportedly to be a rebranded version of Lenovo tablet and will cost less than Rs 20,000. Motorola will launch the new tablet during the Flipkart Big Billion Days 2021. Google Pixel Fold might be launched sometime towards the end of this year. It has been suggested that Google will be using LTPO OLED display on this device. Several hints have pointed at such a smartphone in the making by Google, though there is no official confirmation yet. Support page for the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition goes live in Germany. Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition is rumored to launch in October. It is expected to be powered by Snapdragon 888 or Exynos 2100 processor depending upon the region. Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 2021 renders reveal the entire design. This tablet has a single rear camera, quad speakers and a 3.5mm audio jack and a Type-C port. Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 2021 launch date is yet to be revealed. WhatsApp is now working on a feature that would let users convert images into stickers. WhatsApp is reportedly developing this feature for both iOS and Android users. WhatsApp is rolling out the possibility for non-beta testers to use the multi-device feature. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe. And follow DigiIntegrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.